All right, y'all, we're finna check out Lil Skies featuring Lil Dirk. Having my way. That's the name of the song. Um, he haven't dropped in a while. He haven't dropped in a while. Um, I don't know if this is like him dropping. Like he got a, a plan, you know what I'm saying? For an album or something. I don't know. But he signed with Atlantic Records. So, you know what I'm saying? We don't know what the deal is looking like. I wish in the description of every music video, if you sign to a label, they tell you exactly like what's your deal. I feel like that'd be helpful. But let's get into it. Original link should be down below. It's crazy. My first time hearing him was obviously from Cole Bennett. Uh, when he was basically making his move. I could literally hear that verse in my head right now. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't got uh, you know what I'm saying? The Red Roses, that was hard. And there's another song. There's another song. I forgot it. But that's the first time I heard him. You know what I'm saying? I, from then to now, obviously so much changed. Like, you know what I'm saying? He had a kid, whatever the case. That's most likely. I don't know. I feel like he one of the only artists to really just like, I guess, chill in a sense. Or like, actually understand, like, all right, you know what I'm saying? I want to spend time, you know what I'm saying? With my family type job. Everybody else is on go all the time. Which you need to be, you know what I'm saying? Especially in the industry where it's just like, you know what I'm saying? Everything is just go, go, go. Especially when albums and stuff is just constantly dropping. Let's see, let's see some real quick. We're gonna, let's see some real quick and then we're gonna go to the comments and see what they talk about. But I wanna see if he dropped the album. Cause if he didn't drop an album yet. Oh, obviously he did drop an album. I'm tripping, tripping, tripping. So, according to, according to Google, he dropped three times in 2018. He dropped three times in 2018. His last one was Shelby, which is, I believe his mama name. He named the project after his mama. That's pretty dope. That's pretty dope. All right, let's go to the comments. So he just dropped last year. You know what I'm saying? You see how I was saying like he haven't dropped in a minute and he just dropped last year. You see what I'm saying? Like, exactly. Let's, uh, let's see. These next two months are gonna be fire. There's supposed to be a new Skies album and Juice album, an eternal take. Okay. Yes, I know about the Juice album. First of all, Lil Uzi Vert, Eternal Take. Man, Eternal Take. I don't know about that. You know what I'm saying? That album has been pushed back so much. I fear for Lil Uzi. You know what I'm saying? I fear for him. Because you gotta come with heat. He, he have to come with heat. That album has been pushed back damn near like two years, three years. So he gotta come with heat. Um, but the Juice album, I think that's gonna do well. Obviously, obviously it's gonna do what it's gonna do. But, but um, I just, I just, cause he had hella songs. So this is gonna be, I think he probably got like maybe like four or five more albums coming out, maybe. Cause they say he left like fifteen hundred songs, so they possibly could make a good like five to six, seven albums. 
actually I was hitting 45 but also you gotta think about his deal we're gonna check the comments after we hear the dirt part Uh, obviously, if y'all don't know, the relationship between these two, Little Sky and Little Dirk, is not like a overnight thing or nothing like that. Obviously, if Little Sky has come out of nowhere and dropped this song, it's got to be personal. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be personal. I wonder who, well, like, why does like certain artists try to put out music and stuff with different people if they don't really have a relationship with? You know what I'm saying? Like, okay, he hot and you hot. That don't mean, you know what I'm saying, you got the fourth of record. <clears throat> but, um, somebody said, it's so weird listening to this song now after listening to the snippets. Don't know how, how is it weird after listening to the snippets. This is like a, a more dark version of Strings. Uh, Strings featuring Gunna by uh, <clears throat> I and Dior. Um, video wise though, if you're you talking about video wise, I could, could get it, but sonically, I don't know about that. <laughs> My guy really doesn't just doesn't know how to disappoint. Y'all know damn well this is going to be on repeat. Little Dirk hair look like Arby's curly fries. Damn, I'm trying to get on his hair. It's crazy because the little dark hair dreads before beat this set of dreads. But he also recently got uh, veneers, permanent veneers. Uh, I don't know about that, you know what I'm saying? I don't know about that. I feel like, bruh, he a CEO, you know what I'm saying? He should have just worn the, the whites. He just wore the pearly whites, whites. And he would have been straight. Comment down below how y'all feel about this song. Um, I think it was pretty dope. I like the collab because I know they homies, so it makes sense. Lil Durk has actually been a part of a lot of people, you know what I'm a lot of releases, album releases recently. You know what I'm saying? I believe I don't want to jump to conclusions, but I know for a fact he was on the G Herbal one recently. I can't really keep up with who drop who dropping albums. Like as of late, because I'm so focused on who dropping next. But y'all comment down below how y'all feel about this song. Till next time, let me know who who should I check out next. Capo.